Hello? Hey. Oh. Hey guys. Hey. Welcome to another vlog. <laughs> and in this video, we, my dogs Finn and Ben and I, are going to teach you guys how I taught them to touch, which is a form of a target command, and it is probably one of my favorite things I ever taught them, and I'll explain why right now. Let's let's just jump in this video right meow. Oh guys, and if you are new here, welcome. So damn happy that you're here. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Be part of our mission to save all the damn rescue dogs. Let's jump into this video right meow. This is very important because one, a lot of dogs respond, at least in my experience, very well to this command, and it is a command that has multiple uses. So you could use this command to get your dog to come back to you if they've run away or run out of your yard. You can get this command to get your dog to focus on you. Uh, you can use it to get your dog to stop doing something that you don't want them to do, such as pulling on the leash or you know, playing too rough with another dog or jumping up on the counter. You can basically use this command to redirect your dog from doing things that you don't want them to do. And it's for many dogs highly rewarding to do because they get a result from it. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, let me just show you how to, hi Finn. <laughs> let me just show you how to teach it. Ready? Touch. Yes, good job, boys. So that's what the command looks like. As you'll see, they get really amped up when I do this command because we've worked on it a lot and they have a lot of fun with it. Uh, but let me show you how I taught them to do that. We've talked about this. Uh, when you're first teaching a brand new command, I personally don't put a name to it. I'll try to get the dog to do the command on their own and then I'll attach a name to it later down the road. But the key is to get them excited to do it at first, huh buddy? Okay, Finn, do you wanna go first? Pookie. So all you do is put your hand out. Yes, good boy. Let me give you a treat. So basically, uh, typically he knows the command, so he'll do it a lot faster, but typically what you do is you hold your hand out. Yes, and if they do what you want, which in this case is to get his nose to my hand, yes, good boy, uh, then you give your marker word. Some people it's a clicker, some people it, you'll hear mine, it's a Y-E-S. And again, if you don't know what a, a marker word is, click the video right here and I'll teach you what that is. But that's basically telling your dog you approve and that is what you're supposed to be doing. And dogs generally want to please. And you just keep doing this over and over. You see I switched the hand. Yes, good job. And you just wait them out. You wait them out and you keep doing it. You could switch up the hands or you can keep it one hand. It's however you want to do it. Oh, good job, buddy. And you do that until they'll continue to touch your hand uh, without, yes, good job, yeah. Okay, good boy. And you just continue to do that until they get more and more consistent. Once they get consistent, then you can add a name to it. So Finnegan, touch, yes, good job, yeah, high five. Yeah, I should go boy, I should go boy. And you'll note that I didn't use a treat every single time. You don't have to use treats. You can reward them and reinforce the behavior by giving them things or doing things that give them joy. So maybe it's a ball, maybe it's just getting excited with them. Maybe it's just the marker word is enough because you've uh, added enough value to it over time. So for him, I'll do some treats. He's very food motivated, but I give them randomly. So that does help me kind of keep his interest. But this command is so super easy. Bentley, do you want to show them yours? Huh? Can you get in the frame here? There he is. Oh gosh, there goes the camera. Okay, Bentley, over here. Bentley, come in so they can see you. Good job, Bentley. Can you touch? Yes, good job. 